I'm R.T. Kendall. I've just written a book on prayer. It has been 50 years in the making. It's been an aspiration of mine all my life to write a book on prayer. We're calling it, Did You Think to Pray? I had a head start when it comes to this matter of prayer. My earliest memory of my dad is seeing him on his knees for 30 minutes every day before he went to work. He wasn't a minister, he's a layman. He taught me to pray. And I don't know of any book that stresses the matter of how much do you pray. So many books on prayer deal with questions and answers that a lot of people have, but they never get around to the issue of time spent with God. We get to know somebody in proportion to how much time we spend with them. Children spell love, T-I-M-E. Now what if God spells love, T-I-M-E? I would ask you a question. How much do you pray? Did you know that a recent poll showed that the majority of church leaders in this country spend an average of four minutes a day in prayer? Listen to this from Martin Luther's journal. I have a very busy day today. Must not spend two hours, but three in prayer. John Wesley would not think of going out into his day without two hours on his knees. And yet, the average Christian leader spends four minutes a day in prayer. And you wonder why the church is powerless. I've written a book that will motivate you to spend more time in prayer. Those that have read it have said it has made them want to pray more. And one of the things that I've learned, which is so thrilling, God likes our company. He wants time with you. And so in my book, Did You Think to Pray? I deal with this, how God likes our company. I can remember as a little boy hearing a radio broadcast every morning. A lady came on singing this song. Ere you left your room this morning, did you think to pray? So often we make decisions hastily, running ahead of God, and realize later we didn't pray about it. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we did not carry everything to God in prayer. He wants our time. He likes our company. And I can tell you, when we get to heaven and stand before God, we may have many regrets as to how we spent our time. I promise you one thing, you will not regret any amount of time you spent in prayer.